Okay, folks, so here I am in my garden, and I was just doing a little inspection on my orchids, and I noticed an unusual activity going on within one of my orchids. As you can see, these appear to be little gnats on my orchid, and I'm not quite sure why they decided to have their little gnat meeting here. And to be honest with you, I don't get a lot of gnats in my garden. And for some reason this morning, yeah, they've congregated right here on my orchid plant. So as you guys know, I am indeed a user of the Listerine. And I put Listerine into this spray bottle right here. And I'm going to see exactly how these gnats react to this Listerine. Let's go ahead and check this out. So I've sprayed it down, and as you see, the gnats don't too much care for the Listerine. And yeah, they've all left the building. Now I don't exactly know if the gnats or whatever insects were on this orchid is actually going to die because of course they flew away, but again, as you can see, they don't like the Listerine at all. So at least you'll know that they're not going to come on your orchids if you've sprayed them down with Listerine. So again, yes, the Listerine has proven strong and indeed those insects, your commonly known insects, do not like this Listerine. Highly recommended folks and it's a common household item so indeed it's easy to get to you can go to any pharmaceutical or your local grocery store and of course i use the gold variety only the gold variety the colored variety the blue and the greens actually have a chemical that the orchids don't actually like so again the gold variety but again tried tested and approved you no longer see any gnats on this orchid and as you can see they have not come back at all Okay, folks, so I take that back. I was actually capable of dousing these two gnats that were um, really into a romantic escapade, and it's not so romantic anymore because they are indeed dying. This one is already dead. This one right here is trying to escape its fate, but as you can see, it's really just a matter of time. And this right here is the second gnat, and as you can see, it's trying with all of its might to get all of that Listerine off of it, unsuccessful, of course, and indeed, as you can see here, it's only a matter of time. This gnat and its lover did not have a happy ending. Okay, folks, so since we've seen the action that this had on the actual gnats, we're going to test this out on these ants that are currently living in this branch of my tree here. Okay, folks, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this down right here. Give them a good spray. And let's see how they react to the Listerine. Okay, so we're taking a look. I think these are two ants right here. And they were sprayed down pretty well with this Listerine. And as you can see here, folks, they are definitely feeling the effects of the Listerine. And these are some pretty hardy ants. These are the stinging ants. I mean, they move much like wasps, but they don't have any wings. But when they bite you, I don't actually know if they bite or they sting because it actually feels like a sting. And as you can see here, folks, they are not doing so well. And actually, the one that is not moving right here, I actually think it is a goner, folks. And actually, the other one right there, I think, is also succumbing to the effects. So indeed, the Listerine has been proven worthy again. And look see here, folks. It appears that they all ran for cover. As bold and brave as they were coming out, as if they were going to do something. And now, they are gone. Oh, and look, folks. I did find two ants that did try to run for cover. As you can see here, they're huddled together. And they did try to run for cover, but as you can see, they didn't run very far. Yes, the Listerine also did the job for these type of ants right here. I don't know exactly what those 
squirmy wormy thingamajiggamy bops right there are but um you know i don't like them in the roots of my orchid so we indeed are gonna spray them down with the gold colored listerine start the spraying and that listerine is something else i mean it's very potent so indeed as you can see, the uncomfortableness of these whatever thingamajiggamy bops these are. I think they're slugs. Yeah, it doesn't feel too good to them. So indeed, they are beginning to become absolutely terminated. And we will not have to worry about these nasty little guys. Um, yeah, this is not even a minute later. And it is in slug heaven. So that Listerine gold variety is no joke, guys. Okay, now I must forewarn you, this is not for the weak and faint-hearted right here. Because if we take a close look into the center of her foliage right here, you're seeing a whole lot of kind of like spider webbing. You're also noting a lot of dark speckles, which I assume is some sort of waste material in there. Yeah, something has been living in here. So what I'm gonna do here, folks, is I'm just gonna go ahead and start spraying like crazy, okay? Because I am not gonna leave any pseudobulb unturned here. We are not playing around with these insects. And with that being said, folks, I am just giving my orchids right here a good spray down just to protect them from some of these very horrid insects. Indeed, we will not let one orchid go unprotected here, guys. We're just gonna spray them all down. And also folks, just to let you guys know, Listerine is actually an alternative to using those very harmful, very toxic insecticides. And of course you guys know, I have many creatures in my garden that I do not wish to harm. So that's the method that I choose. But Listerine is also good for antibacterial or antiseptic, where it does fight off mold, mildew, and fungus as well. And also, as you have seen here, it is a great insect repellent and an insecticide. So indeed, it's a great alternative and very beneficial for you and your orchids and keeping this planet safe and sound. And the Listerine at full strength is good for fighting off snails, slugs, gnats, mealybugs, spider mites, and a whole slew of other pesky critters in your garden. And yet it's still safe enough for your other critters in your garden that you want to keep safe and sound and still protect. And just as a side note, folks, I would spray down your orchids once a week and you will notice a considerable difference. And with that being said, folks, happy orchid protecting. And folks, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another orchid adventure with me, Maria Young. And definitely stay tuned for more.